guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you are just joining us please kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you for always coming out here may god bless you all the lead counsel for the leader of the indigenous people of biafra nambi kanu chief mike Zekume, on friday filed an appeal before the Supreme Court seeking the intervention of the Apis Court to set aside the order staying the execution of Kano's release. Zekome argued that the federal government of Nigeria had failed to act on the decision of the Court of Appeal which granted a stay of execution of the judgment of the same court delivered on October 13, 2022. IPOP's lead counsel, Ifani Ejefo, speaking through a statement on Friday, stated that the federal government, having secured this unprecedented reprehensive order for stay, went back to sleep and ostensibly abandoned its appeal. Ijefo also stated that Kano's legal team had filed an appeal before the Supreme Court, wherein we are seeking the intervention of the Abyss Court to set aside the order staying the execution of Onyendo's judgment. We also cross appealed to the Supreme Court to determine pertinent fundamental issues pertaining to the judgment of the Court of Appeal. However, the federal government of Nigeria has yet to file any processes in response. In response, there to AJF4 added. A copy of the appeal obtained by the Saturday Punch on Friday was labeled CA slash ABJ slash CR slash 625 slash 2022 and signed by Kanu's legal team led by Uze Kume. Kano, according to the suit, is seeking an order of this honorable court striking out and or dismissing the respondent appeal number SC slash CR slash 1361 slash 2022 for want of diligent prosecution. An order of the honorable court setting down the appellate cross appeal for hearing and for such further orders this honorable court may deem fit to make in the circumstances of this case the team argued that by section 6 one in bracket of the supreme court criminal appeals in bracket practice duration 2023, the respondent had only 10 days within which to file and serve the appellant's brief of argument upon the service of record of appeal. Order 2 rule 29, 1 and 2 and order 6 rule 9 of the Supreme Court rules as amended 2014 empowers the applicant to make the instant application. Parties were served with the record of our appeal on November seventh, uh, November second, I beg your pardon, twenty twenty two. The ten days stipulated under the the fast track rules of this honourable court for the respondent to the file its appellant brief have since elapsed. The respondent is not diligent in prosecuting its appeal. The purpose of this Honorable Court's rules and practice directions is to provide fair, in, impartial, and expeditious administration of criminal appeals, especially in reaction to offenses of terrorism, rape, kidnapping, corruption, money laundering, and human trafficking. On October 28, 2022, the lower court while relying on the notice of appeal filed by the respondent, granted the respondent's application for stay of execution of the judgment of the lower court and consequently stayed the execution of its judgment 
delivered on October 13th, 2022, which discharged the applicant and prohibited his further detention. Page 838 to 856. The respondents, which obtained an order of stay of execution of the judgment of the lower court on the basis of the appeal, has not demonstrated any good faith in prosecuting the said appeal. Owing to the presidency of the dependency of the instant appeal, the applicant who was discharged by the lower court on October 13th, 2022, is still in the custody of the appellate respondent, stroke respondent, state security service, where he has been led in solitary confirming since June 29, 2021, part of the grant of application rate. <laughs> the thing is that the, the, the federal government knows that they have no case against Mazin Namdekano. The courts have, you know, already pronounced him a, a free man. All these tats, uh, tactics right now, he's just to suffer him. Understand? The world is watching what is going on. And uh, seeing what the federal government of Nigeria is doing. All these things is just to, you know, punish IPOB leader, Mazin Namdekano. Buari do not want to release him now. You understand? Maybe he wants to leave Mazin Namdekano in the court study of DSS, you know, when another president comes in, the person will take over. But this is a very, you know, uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to use this word that is trying to come out from my mouth because this is a wicked art. You understand? This is a wicked art. And tomorrow someone will, 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 will tell us that Nigeria is one. How? Yesterday, the, the DSS, the uh, withdrawal charges against the, the bandit negotiator. They said, what, 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 what was that their, you know, uh, excuse that some events over taking over, it, it, that the case have been taken by uh, events. My Mazin Namdekano, who is a freedom, uh, freedom agitator, this man has been, you know, discharged by, uh, by, by the appeal court. The federal government is still pushing, knowing too well that they cannot go far from this case. There is no way they will take this case to. You understand? The same appeal court who, who, who delivered the judgment that discharged him, the same appeal court now, you know, granted the federal government stay of execution for the same case they delivered nigeria is a joke i'm dropping it guys kindly share your thoughts below the comment section mm -hmm.